Hi, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel, Quiche's Creations. Thank you for joining in with me today. to all the former subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome to those of you who are just stopping by for a quick view thank you again for joining in with me today as you see from the title of the video we're going to go ahead and dive into this beautiful monthly energy reading for our dear gemini before we do y'all should go without saying please do check the description box for any information that you may want or need to know and if you have any questions do not hesitate to let me know as it states in the description box these readings are intended to be timeless Time and energy are fluid, meaning you could have already gone through this, you may currently be going through this, and or this may be a prophetic message to come if you decide to embrace and embody the energy or advice that Spirit has for you in the reading. Please keep in mind that they are general. Not all may apply to you, and that's perfectly okay. Take what does and let the rest fly. It may be a message for someone else. I may not even be talking to you nor about you. I may be talking to or about someone to whom you're closely connected. Friend, family, or foe, I do not know your life. So it is up to you to use your free will and discernment to determine that. Roles may be reversed. Flip up yourself as you need to. Do not force that shoe to fit if it doesn't, y'all, because I'm not responsible for your feet, your toes, nor them currents hurting. All right? We also don't subscribe to gender roles. However, you will likely hear me say he and or she in reference to masculine and or feminine energies, which we all have both within us. So just please keep that in mind as well. I am big on numerology. Whether or not I call it out, but it's in what I do, I intend for it to likely resonate with your life path number, the day and or month that you were born, potentially the house you may want to pay particular attention to within your natal chart, whatever, what have you, okay? All right, so the decks we are utilizing, this is a newer deck for the headers. It is the Medicine Heart Oracle, and of course, all decks will be listed below, but this is about the beautiful Atlanta Fairchild, so we're getting used to it, playing around with it, seeing what spirit has for us within the messages okay and then of course this is the golden wheel tarot or tarot golden wheel however you want to say it and um yeah this is going to be to clarify and generally in past i've had it set up past present future you still may read it like that you read it honestly how you feel or are guided to but i switched it up a little bit and this is going to be the current energy you may find yourself in and again depending on your timeline this still may be past present or future Honestly, you may find yourself kind of all over within each of the piles or energies, right? But this is um, energy to come in the near future, potentially. And then this is advice, all right? All right, so before we continue, let's get a quick word of prayer. To the Most High, Heavenly and Divine, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit, Gods, I come to you saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this day and for this opportunity. And thank you for using me as a clear and open channel to bring forth the messages straight and clear to the collective no chaser. Thank you for using me as a humble vessel. Thank you for the gift of insight, clarity, mental stability, reason. Thank you for the gift of the tongue. I pray as always that the message of lifts, enlightens, heals, strengthens, protects, nurtures, nourishes, encourages, to spring forth whatever the viewer may need and may play out in the lives of any and all involved for the utmost and highest good as I know you will see fit. And speaking of protection, I pray that you block, bind, unwind, cut cords, simply transmute any low vibe negative energy or entities trying to come in to steal, kill, and destroy or to keep us stuck, stagnant, and confused. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All these blessings I come asking to give thanks yet again. And I can't, how can I forget? Thank you for the love and support. Most definitely, that's number one, thank you. But all these blessings I come ask and give thanks yet again. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe y'all. All right, y'all. <sighs> yeah, let's get on into this, shall we? So, um, I said I wasn't gonna forget your channel messages because this this uh, spread honestly has been marinating for a couple days now, and so, <laughs> and honestly, I knew I should have wrote it down. But either way it goes, hey. Here we are. Whatever was meant to come out, it will come out, I'm sure. Everybody has been having a new, uh, uh, like, 
a numeral numerological message. Ooh, why is that a tongue twister for me? You did have a song, and like I said, I said I wasn't gonna forget. I pray it comes back up, but um, yeah, it is. What well, I don't know, y'all. Honestly, <laughs> it has been a crazy day. So y'all might find yourselves dealing with, or even witnessing others dealing with some kind of cray cray energy. Like it's just a lot going on, and um, I almost. You know, I thought about like, should I even do this reading today or just wait? You may even, for me to not even remember any of your channel messages, that is unlike, like you, I feel like that is a sign in and of itself. Like you may find yourself maybe in a forgetful mindset or whoever you're dealing with or whoever you're witnessing, right? And it's, it's like, I just heard short-term memory loss, so... Somebody may really truly be experiencing that. I don't know. But anyway, let's go on and get in it. <laughs> the current energy you may find yourself in here is we got the number five and second sight. And this when I if you haven't checked out the unboxing of this deck, I, I advise you to do so. But when I first was even flipping through, I was like, oh, because it's like it's a beast. You know what I'm saying? It's like fierce. I believe it's like a wolf shape-shifting into an owl or vice versa right and even still even behind it i feel like it's a whole nother beast like right here because it's like this is the formation of the eyes getting ready to form so it's almost like a three and one even though it says second sight by second sight immediately i got um something about the third eye right and this wisdom because owls bring that higher knowledge and wisdom and they also see in the dark they see through the dark so there may be something that is hidden, that was hidden, that you are um, looking a little closely at or taking a second look at, right? And with the number five, that talks about change and transformation and even growth or movement, right? It can be a little challenging. So that's what I'm saying. Whatever this is that could potentially be hidden, it um, may be a little difficult, I don't know, to interpret, to see to visualize if it's you know something you're trying to revamp or take another look at especially if it has to do with like a business idea could even have to do with a relationship because i'm feeling like the song that i'm trying to think of or that i'm forgetting is um it, it has something to do with like a uh, relationship and friend family or otherwise y'all but i, I want to say that it was more of a um, romantic yet it was a reflective type of like even though it may have to do with the relationship, you know, with somebody else, it's more so like showing you you is the message that I got out of the song. Like the growth maybe within you, um, maybe you're taking another look at yourself, even in the mirror, right? The mirror is a portal energy and maybe you are trying to shape shift into something new, something different. You're growing, you're, you're gaining more wisdom, Gemini. I don't know. Y'all know how we do. <laughs> we be we be analyzing, right? We be really with that merc mercurial energy. We be really in our head, you know, almost um, over analyzing sometimes about things. So I don't know because with these circles, I you know that tends to be like repetitive energy, and so you may have gone over and over and over it again, and it's just like. I'm feeling, you know, trust yourself, trust what you see, trust the visions you receive, whatever, what have you. But let's go. We're going to read a little bit from the guidebook once I clarify these to see what this has to tell us, okay? But first out, we have, wow, Six of Wands. Who did this come out for? I want to say Aries. Yeah. And I don't remember what their header was, but either way, so you will have success and victory over whatever this is or with whatever this is you know just just uh, maintain your balance maintain um, peace and harmony within yourself and all will be okay i see someone coming off of the or out of the five of wands energy which is just before this obviously and you know that can be that kind of confliction turmoil chaos a little bit like i said that's that cray cray energy i'm just saying I'm telling you, and you moving from the five to the six, you know what I'm saying? So you, you, you on the right path, you moving in divine order. So really don't just 
keep fighting, keep striving. Because, you know, this can be, this my victory is mine. You know what I'm saying? So you really don't have anything to worry about. And as long as you stay, stay tapped in and divinely guided, you will, you're guaranteed. I got the victory. I got the victory. This is passion. This is fire energy. So it's like continue moving passionately after what you desire. And it's almost some the birds, because it's even with the owl, the bird, the owl, the wolf, maybe a spirit guide told them for you, but it's something big about these birds. Um, they may be pay attention because that may be a sign or even an omen is what I heard. But either way, it's a sign nonetheless of guidance um, of how you need to move. Yeah, birds definitely need something about birds because there's a bird in every single one of these cards. I'm just now really drawn to that. You got I don't you got my cow and cacao over here, which we'll get into um, the number 24 and or six double double confirming the sixes may be important to you. You may be, again, like I said in the disclaimer, born on any of these dates and or in the months, any of the months. Obviously, there's not 24 months, but take six, right? And or um, it may be your life path number or just significant for you or something important may be happening on the date, you know, of whatever month, but especially what do we have out here? February, May, no, ooh, well, yeah, May, um, April, and June, right? The 2nd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 24th, okay? All right, and then, of course, whatever other numbers we get to. 10 of swords. See, I'm telling you, this, that, this, that. I, immediately, I heard overanalyzing. Like I was saying, it's like it's done, died, or needs to be done. Because, And this may have been something or someone that uh, was very toxic is what I get and trying you know what I'm saying? Um, I heard flipping. They may have been flipping about the tongue, you know, about the mouth, just like saying some harsh or brash words and um, just talking reckless, maybe even lying on you, backstabbing you, deceiving you. It could be just you yourself, Gemini, because this is typically your energy for me. Uh, could be any other air sign, fire sign, does not matter. But um, air is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, fire is um, Aries, Leo, Sage, okay? But again, it does not have to be. But y'all heavy on the air energy anyway. And I feel like it probably is just your energy, right? But something is ending or needs to, okay? And then um, and somebody needs to speak up. Speak up and stand up in your truth. Mm -hmm. And then we got the page of wands. And this page, I love this page. This is sage energy for me. But it, it they go after what they desire wholeheartedly. And this is talking about like a new... Um, beginning or new journey or new opportunity right but see you learn even with this ten of swords you've learned I heard meticulous um but you've learned a lesson some kind of cycle has ended because the page comes off of the ten so you've gone through or will be going through wherever you are ten of swords and ten of wands ten ten done data so you've gone through some I'm not telling you it, it was toxic it was heavy it was tumultuous because even coming off the six of wands coming off the five of wands it was very challenging you got the five in your header but it's like i got a new attitude hopefully you will see things differently a little you know what i'm saying a little more clearer with this second sight all right mm -hmm. speaking of let's go ahead and read what it has to say for us okay all right page 71 which potentially is an eight. Second sight is the spiritual vision or clairvoyance of the soul. Your vision of a situation may not yet be completely clear, but your soul knows how to remedy that. That's why I said stay tapped in, listen to your intuitive guidance, and you will not be led astray, I promise you. It says be willing to look beneath the surface and sense the truth. Such knowledge is a karmic birthright, where the answers to all questions are provided as an expression of spiritual grace. Know that you are blessed with spiritual guides and, go and soul guardians who are looking out for you. I told you, them birds, that's going to be a sign or an omen for somebody. When you are ready to receive it, you will be gifted with the knowledge of what is true and what to do. And like I said, even with that page of wands coming off of that ten of swords, you're going to hopefully prayerfully see the truth for what it is, stand in your truth and speak up, you know? I'm going to go ahead and turn to grip spraying um, before we get into it. 
so we can be ready for it all right but moving into the potential energy to come we have um grip spraying and i don't know if i'm saying that right but that's how i'm saying it the number 31 potentially being a four you could have been born on the 31st of whatever month has 31 days y'all <laughs> the first third or even fourth as we already said the fourth but anyways um and you can add january and march in those months all right or even uh october with this team which is that's a whole nother story i'm not getting into that but i was about to go on a whole nother tangent because october is really not meant to be the 10th month not supposed to be if you think about the words and what they really mean um the root of it but anyways grip spray and that's what i'm saying y'all may be like really analyzing something you know what i'm saying like really getting to the bottom of a lie is what i'm feeling like really trying to bring the truth about whatever this is you and it could be something so small y'all ain't gotta be all this like major you know thing but it can be something so simple you know like a colloquial saying or like like i just got through talking about october like october is supposed to be the eighth month right if you if you, octagon has eight sides you understand what i'm saying so it's like whatever like what what did, what did they do when they made that uh what is it called is that the gregorian calendar whatever it's called anyways um but with grip spraying it brings the energy of protection y'all see and wolves may is heavy for somebody because this is what i call a white wolf or even snow wolf is what i was getting because i forget who this came out for but um yeah and the raven or the crow especially too for somebody because i feel like that's probably what that is in the six of wands regardless but it's like um you see she in deep meditation right and she even is the way she's holding this crow or raven i feel like that can be uh what what they call that in the um uh, game of thrones that's like a um what they call it oracle that's like the gateway or the port uh, uh yeah portal energy or like a spirit guy told them the connection you know what i'm saying with um with oracle or with your spirit guide or whatever so listen especially if you out there and you hear them speaking to you listen you know it may not i know people probably think who cares what anybody thinks but like i feel that i really be I, when i'm especially i love being in nature and when i'm out there y'all i'll be listening to all the animals but especially the birds and they be singing a song and telling a story and when they do i mean yeah it may not be like whatever language you speak I was going to say English, but not everybody speaks English, but it may not be whatever language you speak, but trust me, it's a message and you may not really receive or not even receive. Well, you may not receive it because especially if you not tapped in or you blocked off or resistant to it. But what I was trying to say is you may not interpret it right then and there, but I promise you it's going to be something down the line, like that sign or that omen that you're going to be like, oh, that's what it was because it's, it's, it's all connected anyways but you have the energy of protection surrounding you so you really don't have anything to worry about um especially when you when you like i said be in meditation or get tapped in okay don't know why i'm tripping over my words or even like stuttering but hey look at here higher calling higher calling yeah you may really have something to do with i feel like that was aries go check out aries reading you may have aries having your chart i'll be dealing with one but this is taurus energy here this is a um potentially a spiritual guru you may be seeking you may be that one right for me to for big crit to come out with higher calling um uh, this is a teacher as well so you may be seeking this um leader teacher um, or even higher learning, spiritual learning. I feel like, especially with this page of wands, because that talks about going on a, you know, like I, like I said, a new journey, more specifically a spiritual one. Everything I feel like in life, all the paths you take are intended to be a spiritual journey. It's whatever you believe, but because that's even the whole reason we live in this thing called life anyways, right? We are spiritual beings living a human experience, so whatever. But um, you may even be like trying to really go back to school to get some higher learning and, and wisdom and i'm telling you something really gonna come through for you so pay attention even to the people you around or even dealing with because i'll be telling you all the time they simply reflections of you you know what i'm saying the things that you have already worked through 
and or things you need to work through, right? Think other things that you need to learn, you'd be surprised who that teacher will be. This is more of a, um, a um, well, how should I say it? Like a, not elderly, but like older energy, like old soul, let me say it like that, because, but it could be a child, to be honest, because if this page of wands out here, that's, that's, that's a child, that's a juvenile, that's, you know, maybe a preteen or whatever. So you may learn from children. I mean, we, I be saying it all the time. And some of these, <laughs> let me not go there. I don't need to put this nicely. <laughs> I was going to say some of these ignorant adults, and I don't even call them at Like, where did that word even come from? So-called grown folks um, be feeling like, you know, a child need to stay in a child's place. What is that exactly? You understand what I'm saying? I feel like children are more tapped in than we are. They're more connected and more pure than we are because we've, we've had time, <laughs> more time to be tainted by this world, right? And, um, and then, you know, there are, we have just as much to learn, if not more, to learn from them than they us, as far as adult, adults, okay? Whatever. Moving on. <laughs> Look at this nine of swords. This is you, Gemini. I mean, obviously, you may feel it's crazy how we got the 10 and the 9, essentially your center row. All in my head, all in my head, baby, you. Um, it was, it was, it was, sir. It wasn't that song, though. But that's what I just got. So somebody, if this has to do with the relationship, especially a romantic one, because that's what that song talks about, somebody may have you all up in, all up in your head, and maybe you trying to take, like, um, taking a second look, like, is this right for me? Do they deserve me? Do I deserve them? Whatever, however it go, whichever way the road, the, um, yeah, the roads um, lie, wherever you lie, put yourself where, wherever. But, um, but yeah. And, or somebody may be stressed out even about, I'm getting with the whole teacher aspect, somebody may be stressed out about an exam or something that they um, got to get done. It's something about a test is what I'm hearing. Even if you are not in school, it's something about a test. And this just could be a life lesson that you're needing to go through, right? Because we are always being tested. Yeah. Okay, and then, oh, but you will, you will get it done. <laughs> this is the world, 21, potentially being a three. You you will, you will, um, this the success is bringing me back to this victory. You will be successful. I love this world card because I feel like these are all one and the same. Um, more feminine energy is what I'm getting, but it does not matter. But uh, it's the balancing of thyself with the dark and the light or light and the dark, however you want to see it. You got the sun and the moon out here. So it's essentially balancing polarities. And you see she is she is whole and complete within herself, right? Accepting yourself as you are. It's okay that we, we may tend to overanalyze. Just find a way to rebalance yourself and ground yourself, you know what I'm saying? Out of your head, out of the ethers, out of the clouds, back down to the earth, okay? So you may want to embody this Taurus energy because... This hierophant, baby, they be, they, he's unmoved. Ain't nothing about that. He knows who he is. He's secure in himself, in himself and who, in his truth. He stands on what he believes and honestly will not budge, does not waver, right? This can be somebody very, very, very spiritual. I won't even say religious, I say spiritual because they know what it is. They understand the polarities of the world. They understand, you know what I'm saying, the ins and outs of, of energy in and of itself, right? All right, let's go ahead and read Grip Spraying and see what's going on. What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? 249. <clears throat> Consider the practices, places, and people that strengthen and brighten your spirit. These are treasures to be sought and protected in your life. You are worthy of well-being and happiness. You are encouraged to give yourself love, respect, and compassion. Be careful with your own heart. Treat your heart as the divine gem it is. Believe that you are worthy and your heart shall most readily attract life's vitalizing magic and blessings to you. Shift from making do to building yourself up from within. I'm telling you, holy and complete. And I see you doing that. Good for you. You are destined to rise, thrive, and succeed. All right? All right, let's move on to the advice. We have the number seven. Seve Yakshe, Yakshe, I don't know how you really say that. I cannot remember. 
who it came out for at the bottom of the deck. Was it Cappy? I do not know, honestly. But either way, y'all, this, um, as I told whoever it was, <laughs> this is the energy. As you see, she, she, her arms, the way she holds her arms, it's like she bound but not bound, right? It's in, in with the, her locks. Somebody may have locks or dealing with somebody with locks. But that holds a whole lot of powerful energy and wisdom. And you see the antlers even coming out of her out of her crown. That's a portal in and of itself. That's higher knowledge and wisdom as well. And that's many, many paths that has been taken to receive, to learn, to grow. You know what I'm saying? Um, lessons completed and to get the um, blessings out of it. You know what I'm saying? To, to get the wisdom and the knowledge of, in that, in whatever lessons. But I love that there's a pink rose at her crown. And that's, again, going back to what Grizz Frank said, have that care and compassion and love for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Be gentle, be graceful with yourself, especially in how you think and what you say about yourself, Gemini, because that's powerful because what you think and say is reality. Like what you think, what you put your energy towards in your mindset, that shapes your reality. And then what you say, that's spelling. You understand? So be careful in what you say about you and others because you ain't doing nothing but saying it about yourself. I told y'all people are a reflection of you. So be gentle, be caring, be compassionate. And this little flower, I don't know. I mean, it's not, well, I don't really know. I think it may be the symbol of a lotus. I don't even know if it's coming up on camera. But um, I told, what was it on? It was on. I forget what card it came out on, but I feel like it was on. It was a white tat on whoever, whichever the energy the card was on her arm. And um, I told him it, it reminds me of you know the um, tree of life, which I call Mary J, right? Um, which is powerful because that, and it's not. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't care what anybody say, but even if you, however you choose to utilize it, if you do. Because you can do it with tea, with um, you can do it with, um, you know, if you if you even just smudge with it, smoke it, whatever, however you do it, edibles, however you do it. But it's like that is calming. It's peaceful. It's balancing. It's stabilizing even. Obviously, with anything, you don't want to abuse it, right? You use it for only for what you need it for and to get the benefits therein. Because for those of you who are stressful, sleepless nights, restless, anxious, just nerve-wracked, <laughs> baby, mm -mm. or feeling stuck, stagnant, bound, or even confused, it's like, no, 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 ease your mind. Get into that Six of Swords energy and just be at peace. Go with the flow. Move to calmer waters, especially mentally. There's something about these blue jays here that maybe a spirit guide told them for somebody. All right. Because you know, with these uh, circles, I keep getting that concentric energy. It's like somebody going round and round and round. And I feel like in, in your head because it's like she just all wound and bound and tied up. All right. We're going to get to the reading in just a few. But let's clarify first. You see <laughs> all this air energy. Page of swords here. This is somebody I heard intellectual. So somebody is seeking the truth or trying to. You, you you slowly but surely, or the advice is to cut your way through the clouds, through the illusion, out of the darkness. Draw me out of the darkness to the marvelous light. So you can see, right? See the truth. And like I said, stand on your truth and speak your truth. No matter what, do not be afraid. There is no need to fear. What do you have to fear? Like I said, who cares what anybody thinks or has to say? They only got something to say because they can't do it. They they don't have the power to do it. You understand? Or they haven't done it. I'm not saying that they don't have the power because anybody has the power to change. It's a matter of will. Do you choose or not? Right? All right. Again, it may have something to do with somebody's child or children too. So maybe they, like a, somebody was going back to this test. Maybe they stressing about this test or coming up on a major test and about to, somebody maybe even about to graduate or something like that. And they got maybe coming up on finals or something and need a little bit of, you know, encouragement. Let them know they got the victory. Like it's, it's gonna be okay. You know, just stay prayed up. You are, let them know they are protected. They have no no need to worry, have no fear. You know, that's just, that's part of the illusion that, 
that somebody needs to break through it, okay? All right, and then we have a little four of wheels. We don't like this here. I mean, with all this going on, I don't like that because it's, it's feeling a little toxic. Not even a little. <laughs> I told y'all. This middle row, no, no, ma'am, no, sir. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because it's, it's crazy that it's in the middle because it's giving me that stuck energy. Stagnancy. Um, somebody's blocked. Yeah. Um, hoarding. I heard somebody is a hoarder. <laughs> somebody made me stressed out that somebody's a hoarder. The hoarding is stressing somebody out, like, for real. Mm-hmm. Somebody is um, <clears throat> also being stingy. They don't want to. They don't want to reveal something. So that may be the deception or like the illusion, right? I mean, I, it definitely is. Is that somebody may have been hiding something? Didn't I say something about something being hidden from you? Somebody may have been intentionally trying to hide this from you, like lying to you, backstabbing you, because they want you to be anxious and in your head, Gemini. And it's like, no. <clears throat> You need to cleanse yourself, remove yourself, because somebody been wanting you stuck, stagnant, confused, and bound. Maybe to them, to the past, whatever, I don't know. But with this beautiful Empress, they bringing me too. Baby, that's Libra Taurus energy, strong, and that's all about balance. And this has been coming out big in almost nearly every reading. But even, even if the Empress card itself hasn't came out, the energy, Libra and energy, the balance, need for the balance, um, the peace right justice has showed its head too um so something may be coming through big during uh, libra season and or you just need to embody that libra and energy of being balanced and at peace sitting back relaxing and attracting not worrying about a damn thing because i'm hearing don't you worry about a thing all is going to work out as it should be what's that song Everything is as it should be. Everything is as it should be. I wake, up feeling, I wake up in the morning feeling good. I wake up in the morning feeling great. Yeah, everything is as it should be. I mean, it's, it always is, you know, no matter what you do. So only you can, uh, I was gonna say limit, block, or keep yourself stuck and or resistant from moving forward, okay? All right, and then see, cause you got the power. You got the magic in your hand. You are the magic. This is you. This is your energy. You have to be balanced in all elements. Air, earth. Uh, I'm about to say wind, fire. Come on. Uh, uh, who was that? Not Power Rangers. Captain Planet. <laughs> Anyways, um, air, earth, water, and fire. You got all. As long as you're balanced in, in every element, the world is your oyster. You can create. You can have whatever you like. You understand? This is all about two speaking, because uh, this is mercurial energy, Gemini, which you are ruled by. And it's all about, like I said, how you communicate, what you think in regards to yourself. If you feel lack, that's what you will see. If you think that you don't have the, the if you um, lack courage or confidence, that's what you'll see, you know? So, mm hmm I also see this as this magician because, you know, this is major arcana. So it trumps any any of this little stuff. <laughs> but I do see it like blocking it off. You see how the swords are crossed. Well, maybe that's a sword and a wand. But either way, because he got all the elements, right? So you, it, it's probably really going to take for you to be in the air and fire elements, using those in tandem to dissipate, remove, smudge out, lock this energy any low vibe energy and like i said with air that's all about what you speak and say you know what i'm saying and think and then with wands fire burn it away um move passionately on what it is you desire move with you know feel it move with your heart okay mm -hmm. yeah, that was my stomach so yeah so let me go ahead and read seba and then we'll get into macau um, and cacao, okay. Um, did I? Yeah, they were your right? Okay, okay. <laughs> tripping. Hold on, let me check our time too. It done already skipped y'all. Hold on, I be forgetting, and I don't even be realizing how long I be going to check the um, time because once it goes past so long, it like cuts it and make 
you know, whatever. I know y'all don't care. <laughs> but when it when it cuts to make another like video, it ends up, I end up losing the part of what I was saying. So I hope it wasn't anything major. I'll try to put it in there, fix it in post editing. Anyways, page 84 for seven gotcha. Turn within to experience steadiness, becoming restful upon a firm inner spiritual foundation. From your soul's vantage point, the path before you now, in parentheses they say, and how to best navigate it, in parentheses, is clear. That's the magician clearing the way and the page of swords, like I said. Your soul knows how to receive and act faithfully upon the guidance of spirit, even throughout the moments when your conscious mind doesn't understand what is happening or why. When change, upheaval, or confusion is upon you, know that this is the chaos that precedes creation. Return to your spiritual roots to ground yourself, anchoring your mind to your heart. What, I, what I've been saying to you. Allow your life to unfold according to a generous universal wisdom that is aware of your potential and what is necessary to actualize it and is actively supporting your divine fulfillment. All right? All right, let's move on to Macau Cacao. I think I just passed it. Page 199. All right. Within you shines a radiant spiritual power of vibrational resonance, which can attract all good things into your life. Make peace with your experience and expression of power, aligning yourself with your heart and knowing that as you enrich your... In your wait a minute. I can't I'm losing track because it's just amazing that the spirit just clarifies it and confirms it as such. But anyways, it says make peace with your experience and expression of power, aligning yourself with your heart and knowing that as you enrich your interiority with sacred practices to support your soul, you will imbue expressions of power with compassionate wisdom. That's powerful. It wraps it all up. It's everything that I've been saying to y'all from the owl and second sight to the magician, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the um, tarot. So anyway, it is spiritually safe for you to be empowered and you can be so with consciousness and kindness. Earth Mother is generous and provides your soul with opportunity, means, and method through which your true self will actualize for the spiritual benefit of all beings. Use your power to flow rather than force. <laughs> Powerful spirit, thank you. Use your power to flow rather than force and you will rally tremendous support for rapid manifestation. Baby, if that ain't, that's the way to end it, y'all. Mm. Hey, I love it. Thank you, Spirit. I love y'all. I love y'all. Love y'all. That is powerful. Come through, Gemini. You got it, okay? You got it, baby. Believe in yourself. Have faith in yourself. Trust yourself. All right? And the guidance therein, I promise you, will, you will never be led astray. Mm, nor forsake you. Just stay tapped in, y'all. And anytime you feel yourself getting a little anxious or in that cray cray energy, just clear it. You got the power in your tongue to do that. All right. Like I said, that's why I'm going to end it. I pray that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. For those of you who are new, that means comment with this one down below. If you are called, y'all. Because you never know how this may help someone grow, especially in including yourself. And I pray that's what you're here for, because that's the intent of this channel. Whether or not someone comes to mind, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so very much for doing so. I truly appreciate it and love you for that. If you want to join me for any other type of video or any other monthly, whatever, please check the playlist on my channel. I hope you find what you're looking for, and I hope and pray to see you there. If not, please take care. And like I said, I love you anyway. Until the next one, be easy, Gemini. Don't forget your love and light. It truly makes everything all right. Deuces.